What's up guys? Welcome back to Build Cool again. Today it's back to work on bike. Our life and swap 1978 Sears and Roebuck Free Spirit. And in this episode, we're gonna get things started by giving this thing a bath and degreasing everything. That way we're not building a dirty bike. From there, we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna cut out of that frame so we can get that motor to fit a little bit better up in there. And then once we get everything cut out, we can start to figure out how we're gonna bend this thing back because that swing arm is not straight with that front wheel at all. And I'll have to be sure to go through and show you guys just how bad that puppy is. But before we get started, let's go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building and while you're at it, be sure to turn on that post notification bell so you get notified every time a new episode drops. So with all that being said, let's get started.
right, guys. So we went ahead, got everything cleaned up, and we got that frame cut out to get the motor right about where I think she needs to be. So now, it's time to get a little creative. I showed you guys just how bad that swing arm really is, and it's quite a bit bent. So now, it's time to get creative to bend that thing back, and I think I got just the idea. So I'm going to take you guys, we're going to go ahead and strap this thing alongside my golf cart, which I also use the workbench slightly behind scenes. So you guys are going to get a little glimpse into that mess. But we're going to go ahead and strap it to the golf cart and use a ratchet strap hooked around the wheel to try to bend that puppy back where she needs to be. So that way we can go nice and slow and be precise. And then, after that, we'll probably wind up calling it a wrap for this episode. And then next episode, we'll work on getting that all welded in. So with all that being said, let's get going. So we went ahead and straightened out that frame to the best of our abilities. Now it's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better than what it was looking like. And I can live with that. So now we've got the frame all cut out, everything's cleaned up, the frame's straightened. The next step's going to be getting this all welded back up. So that way it'll be one bike again. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode. So be sure to smash that like and subscribe button so we can keep on building cool and you can be sure to catch that next episode once it comes out. So with all that being said guys, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace!